Many of us save files to our computer desktops for a variety of reasons. Maybe it is the default location. Perhaps you want to quickly access the file, or you may just not want to deal with deep folder structures. While saving to the desktop may be quicker, it can cause frustration for you in the end. After watching this video, you will learn to recognize when it's appropriate to save files on the desktop. You will also understand that saving to the desktop should only be temporary. You should only save a file to the desktop on a temporary basis. A good rule of thumb is if a file has been on the desktop for more than a month, it's probably time to delete it or move it to a more permanent location. Generally, saving to the desktop should be used for files that require quick and or short-term access. This is especially important if you are sharing a computer with someone else. Think about your files as clothing. If you live in a dorm with someone else, you don't want to leave your clothes all over the floor as it may be hard to distinguish whose shirt is whose. Keeping clothing in your closet is similar to keeping files in suitable folders on your computer. Whether you have a roommate or live alone, it is difficult to find what you are looking for if your clothes are strewn all over the floor. The same thing goes for a mess of files on your desktop. It's difficult to find clothes you need, be on time to class, or find the file you need or get your assignment done with a messy room or a messy desktop. If you share a computer login with someone else, saving files to the desktop might result in them changing or deleting your files. You generally don't share clothing with a roommate, so you also want to avoid sharing documents, or your roommate might lose your favorite sweater. Your computer's operating system may offer you the option to create multiple desktops. These may be useful or frustrating, depending on how you use them, and if you remember that they're there. Whether you're working with one desktop or many, follow these tips to avoid misplacing or losing your files. In a previous video, we explained how and why to create consistent, logical folder structures. Keep that in mind when trying to organize your desktop, as moving files you want to permanently keep into logical folder structures will save you both time and frustration in the long run.